It's Argentina, ranked eighth in the world against the invitational team, Korea. They fell to Fiji, Korea did. 45 points to seven, Argentina drew to France, 26 all. And here are the teams taking the field. And Rob, this Argentinian side, well, they've had some mixed results of late. Cup quarters, though, in Dubai and Cape Town. How do you feel they're going to go here against Korea? Well, same this morning, their first game. USA is a really successful stomping ground for them. It's the most success they've ever had in any of the legs. So they come in with a bit of confidence. They got absolutely battered in that first game. Two significant injuries that may well impact the rest of their tournament. Certainly, Gonzalez, one of their starlights. Don't think he'll be featured in this game. So it really is a case of them getting back onto it. It's a game they're expected to win against Korea, who had a really tough out and, out and against Fiji. So I think it's very much a case of building this one. Our referee for this one from Uruguay, Francisco Gonzalez. He's ready to go. It's Argentina on the right of your screen. And Korea to receive in their bold blue. This one doesn't go the 10. Korea play it, though, and picked up there from Sung Bae Lee. They're going to the contact, worked out there by the captain, Won Young Park. Well, the intercept ball comes easily for home man Schultz. He read it like a book. Opening try within seconds to Argentina. Well, I'm not even sure he needed to read that book, down. It's like a pop-up. Just so obvious from the base of the rook. You take that long to pass it, you're going to have trouble. Schultz takes a few steps forward. He goes right into his bread basket. That's all too easy for the Argentinian. Seven zero, an early start there. And Rob Bickerman, I didn't know you read the pop-up books, but it's your kids, right? <laughs> no, no, that is me. This restart goes the required ten. Korea knock it back. Schulz is there, kicks it ahead. Argentina looking for their second. This could be a brilliant finish. We're going to have a look for Marcus Manetta. Try Warden. That is skill, Phil, from Manetta. Well, he played incredibly well in the first game. The young man backing himself. As soon as the ball's on the floor, it's just about that little bit of commitment. Schultz gets the foot on it. And then he is rapid in his pickup. And Manetta again shows wonderful control. And how about that for a put down? Brilliant finish from the 19 year old. His fourth try and second this weekend. Conversion attempt from Santiago Mara to the side. 12 0. And this is exactly how Argentina should play this game. Relentless straight from the restart. Again, compete. Go hard if the ball's on the floor. It's all about that commitment they often show. Last former sevens come to the left-hand side again. The battering in there from Moroni has possession. Basan Velez, a stunning short ball. Rodrigo Ithro. That is how you make your first touch in this game. Another one of those players, just 20 years of age. That's quality for Miss Grow. That line he hits all in the middle third. The restart's just absolutely been dominated. And Bazan Velez goes a little bit lateral, but that is the line you want to see straight down the middle of the pitch. And Iskro pumps his chest out and whacks it down. Played in Rosario, Argentina with the under 20 championship. That's Santiago Gomez, Cora, legend on the field, 230 tries to Mickelson. Looking to overtake that this weekend. Gomez Cora being in charge with this side and they've done superbly beating some big teams in Fiji of late. Two cup quarters, seventh and eighth in Hamilton and Sydney. But Basan Velez goes in another run, spins down on the ground as Lotaro. Still to the left hand side. Where they go with Marcus Manetta. It's all Argentina in the opening stages. Moneta goes again on the loop. Is Schills. Raval on the outside. It's a double. Rodrigo Ithko gets two in the opening minutes of this game. He's down hurt though. 
Well, and just yeah, like Gonzalez, like... shown significant pain no. in the in goal area. Okay. These are Argentinians. Sure? You want to check? Are more durable than very old leather boots. Okay. Come on. This is where you put the ball down. As soon as he puts it down with the right okay. arm, you get a bit of weight on you. Can often be a bit of a dislocated shoulder. The one hand okay, put you. down. It looks so innocuous, but you can you can see him hold his arm. In the way, it's his AC joint pop. Never great to see that. No, not at all. Hollywood is only 20 minutes away. One-handed dive, though, just exposed himself a little bit. Good, he's up. Kick unsuccessful, but 24-0. Argentina hitting their stride. Well, what a tempo from Argentina. It's exactly what they'll be saying pre-game, and they're executing their pan perfectly. Oh, a couple of big hits coming in as well. Sungman Chung scored against Fiji, wearing eight as the one that got clattered. Cutting back in is Hibam Yu. Trying to get outside of the 22. They get a penalty, he did Korea. So they attack with Chung. The spin around here. Korea, they qualified for Tokyo 2020 by winning the Asian qualifier. And this is what got them there. It's breakouts like this. Kim, Kim gets it back on the inside superbly. Chung Min Chung hit high. High tackle. Korea with the momentum. Chung has a go himself. Gets the bump on revolve. The offload is fantastic. Support by Chong Min Chung. A stunner from Korea here in Los Angeles. Well, they certainly need to do something. And they started this game getting absolutely battered by Argentinians, but a little bit of possession led to a bit of opportunity in the two indiscretions for the Argentinians. They've lost the man in the opposing 22, so they did that whole defensive set with just six men. But as they did in the first game, got a little bit of a snippet of play, kept hold of the ball, and got a score on the board. Vital to get on the board for Korea. Had won against Fiji, but lost in the end by 45 points to seven. Great combination between Chong Min Chung and Sung Min Chung. Contestable. Comes down, knocked back there from Matias Osatsu. He's knocked it on. You've got to think the Koreans who will be playing this very important game, getting a bit of exposure on the HSBC World 7 Series, they're thinking is a big task pre-Tokyo in July. Crouch. They're a mile off at the moment. You've got to Crouch. take every chance you can get and a bit of set-piece play now and see what they've got. Words there from former England 7s captain Rob Vickerman. Korea's 13th tournament only on the HSBC 7s World Series. They've only played as their third time outside of Asia. Looping around there, Sung Bae Lee. Oh, lovely cut and step from Chung again. The goose as well. Chung Min Chung full of movements here in the sun. Flip ball is available. Argentina steal this one. Space on the outside. And here they go again. And Lucio Sinti scores for Argentina as the Hooter sounds. the fifth try in the first half for Argentina and it was about their defense once again turnover ball perhaps speculatively forward there but give the benefit of the doubt and it's a 55 meter run in for the young man Argentina on the good so far on the scoreboard at half time and they lead Korea by a score of 31 points to five Tremendous scenes here in Los Angeles. Top five of ten on the HSBC World Rugby 7 Series. It's Korea that have kicked off. Argentina gather this one. They're up 31 points to five. 
Raval, the captain known as the Wolverine. Passes back on the inside to the stepping Marcus Manetta. First penalty goes to Korea. Well, they start the first second half very different to how they started the first half. Took them almost five minutes to get the ball in that first effort, hence the scoreline. But now a little bit of a set piece play. I do like the little tricks they've got. Voice of Rob Vickerman, former England Sevens captain. I'm Dallin Stanford. Welcome to the broadcast as Sung Bear Lee gets hit hard at the 22. They peel it back to Bung. Two on one on the outside. Beautiful bit of work. Chung again, this time well hounded by Schultz. Worked the short side. Kim, nowhere to go, but he does well to get it back inside to Chung. Still available. He van home and then contact stiff contact coming right in from Tomas Bunny 13th player activated already here and match number two for Argentina Chong Min Chung four tests for Korea in the 15 side game to the right they go to Sung Min Chung one of their bigger players can't get around on the outside and they concede the penalty as well Las Puma sevens go quickly with Revol spots a bit of space on that left hand touch line Good recycle work here from Argentina. Oh, lovely cutting back in. Tomas Vani. Shouldn't even been activated already, and this time he's on the field. He gets his second try in his career, and the first for Argentina in the second half. There's a significant amount of impacts already in this game. Van, he's put himself about defensively. This time all about ball in hand. One of the more diminutive players, probably the same type of body size as the Koreans. But he's elusive, he's fast. And he got to run through this LA sunshine to score it. 38 points to five. Argentina, they'd enjoy their time here Come in off. America. They won in Los Angeles and San Diego. 2009 was that victory in San Diego, and their coach Santiago Gomez Cora was a part of that. Most recent form, though, they lost in the Cape Town 2015 Cup Final to Argentina. Also qualified Sorry? for Tokyo. They won the Other South America completed? rugby qualifier in Other June last year. Okay. Come on. Korea, injury replacement for them. Four minutes to go. Quality experience for Korea as they prepare for the Olympic Games. It'll be their lineup. Okay. So it's knock on. Touch is on from scrum. Line up. Well, should probably scrum? opt for a scrum if they get okay. chance because line out's not their forte. You mentioned about the stature of them. She's very used to playing against other teams in Asia where it's not as much of a factor, but against these other international teams, they really do struggle in terms of their height. And saw in their first game against Fiji, Coach. giving away five or six inches per player, and it really does count when you lose that physical battle. Set. And it's such an important one as well. Scrumpedia from Won Young Kim. Wide offside. Looking to get the ball Advantage on outside. the outside early. Chang with a wonderful break. No room to move on the outside. Chong Min Chung. It's a phenomenal try from Korea. They're second in this game. And that man, Chong Min Chung, remember the name. All the way from their own 22. The Koreans showing when they got the ball, they could execute. Nice accuracy of pass. And that's all it was in the post on the outside from Jang, just all too much. Vazan Velez treading water in field, can't stop him. Kick from Sung Bear Lee, raises the flags, 38 points to 12. And this player scored the winning try in the final to snatch a 12-7 win over China in the semi-finals, the Asian Regional Olympic qualifier vital in their qualification process number seven and eight for Korea batted back but comes to the hands of Vani again Vani in the thick of things Osatsuk beats him on the outside Matthias Osatsuk 
has space on the outside and scores yet another Argentine try. He's so quick for someone as big as he is. Nice combination of Argentinian flag and Power Ranger. The LA crowd loving it, and rightly so. This Argentinian team are white hot. They've dominated every single restart. They keep over the ball. Vane wants to get in the middle. And then Osachuk with his long levers pushing away Korean defenders. Big moment coming later on their pool stage when they face Fiji. Of course, tied to France. Yes, okay. So they'll over. open up this pool to be an interesting one is Wang. Flung to the deck by his opposite number, counter ruck. Ball still there for Korea, then a high tackle. Hi. Well, it could well have been two minutes on the sideline for that one. A bit of a dangerous shot around the top. Mentioned about them not being the tallest of Koreans, you still can't go anywhere near the next. Pull out the banana kick. Sorry about that. And this is the tackle. Bouncy ball gets it on the inside and then just a little bit lazy around the neck. Good tackle on the inside. Five o'clock local time, it'll be that Fiji Argentina clash. See how this pool goes. France still looking good as well as Korea. Oh, big bump. Take that, Rob Vickerman. They're not small. Minsushin. Beautiful support there from Kim as well. Korea for their third try, the step off the right. They'll get in underneath the poles. It's delight for Korea and the crowd here. In Chu Wong gets it done for his country. Well, there may well be flyways, but that was a heavyweight collision. Right in the middle of the pitch, Min Su Shin. Bounces headshot off. Oh, what a great shot that was. Used the ball perfectly. And this is the outcome of Boyd Korean attack. Banging the Argentinians. Kick successful. They've acquitted themselves extremely well in this game. Three tries from Korea. It's 45 19, final play. Yeah, you see the other time? Didn't use the time, so. Yeah, heard the gong, got 30 seconds to take the restart, didn't do it. And now into the red, the Argentinians. They can do what they want if they want to try and score one or could just tap it and kick it off. Tap and they. Look like they want to keep playing. Nice behind the back ball. Here they come on the outside to Moroni. Marcus Moroni dragged it to touch. Final score sees Argentina defeat Korea by 45 points to 19.